But I suspect that uh, in, in the MPC, as in any other committee, there are the divergence of views and some would be quicker to call for negative rates and some would be, be a little bit more hesitant, I, I suspect. So, I, uh, I mean, the decision was unanimous, so, so uh, I don't think that's the situation today, but that could change going forward. And looking at the um, the trajectory for 2021 uh, for the UK economy, uh, we we're just discussing before the decision came through that we're now in a situation where near term pressure on the economy is greater than many had expected, given the emergence of the new UK variant and the national lockdown that was imposed. But we are also seeing the UK quite competent when it comes to the vaccination rollout. So what does this mean for the strength of the recovery in the second half of the year? Do you think it's actually going to be um, more impressive than initially had been expected? It's quite possible that the uh, recovery in the second half of the year will be stronger than m many people have anticipated. The rolling out of the vaccine program in the UK is running very well. Of course, uh, for the UK economy to recover fully, it's important also that the surrounding economic areas uh, recover. The US economy is very important. We need to have recovery in the US. Europe is important and so on and so forth. So it's not sort of, uh, it's not only a question of how fast this uh, uh, this rollout is, 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 is happening in the UK, but it's also important that the rest of the world has a, uh, is recovering. And if that were to happen, yes, there's surely, there's surely upside potential as well. This is a very difficult situation where lots of factors point towards a stronger economy, lots of factors points uh, um, towards the risk of a, of a weaker economy. So it's, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tricky situation.